Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. We look back at December, and it was warmer than normal, a little bit drier than normal at the station, and we only got... 1.3 inches of snow, so that's a wrap up to the month of December. We'll see how January turns out. It turns out pretty busy initially with this storm moving through the area now. And then our next little weak system, you can see it spinning across Texas. This one is not as powerful as the one that just came through, but it's going to impact us, it looks like, by tomorrow night and into Sunday morning. Maybe a little bit of some snow with that. We'll talk about that here in a second. We hit 44 this evening. That was our high here during the evening. 28 was our low this morning. 65, the record high, 12 below zero is your record low. Rainfall here at the station has started as some freezing rain, then went to mostly rain. Pretty good rain, though. 0.7 inches here at the TV station. Here's what we've got with sunrise sunset for tomorrow, just under nine and a half hours of daylight. River Sage in Terre Haute is at five feet, and it is on the way up. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, we're at 36, but there is a wind chill with these west-southwest winds at 15 miles per hour, and the pressure, which was lower this evening, is rising now as the pressure rises. That means that low pressure is moving away from here, and our weather will improve at least for about the next 24 hours or so. Temperatures? have dropped off after we hit 40s in the evening. We're in the 30s out there right now, but we're not going to drop a whole lot more. Here's that storm moving away from the area pretty quickly. The second one is way down here. It's pretty weak, but it's headed our way, and it will be impacting us in about 24 hours, maybe just slightly less than 24 hours. This system took a lot of the moisture with it, so this one doesn't have a ton of moisture to work with, but it will have enough to bring a little bit of some precipitation in here tomorrow night and into the very early morning hours on Sunday. This system is moving on. There's hardly anything left over with this now. As you can see on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, pretty much dry. You may run into a little drizzle, maybe a snowflake here or there, but that's going to be about it. So here's future radar. Nothing the rest of the night that would mount to anything. During the day tomorrow, we're okay. Now by tomorrow night, we'll stop this around 930. It probably starts out as some cold rain, but then as temperatures drop off, we transition. So by, say, 2 a.m., we may go through a brief period of some sleep freezing rain. Then we go into a little bit of some snow as we get into around 2 a.m. Sunday, and then that will exit the area by Sunday morning by, say, 9 or 10. So it's mostly tomorrow night after it gets dark, starts as a cold rain, probably a brief period of a mix, and then it goes to some snow, and then that's over by early Sunday morning. And then the rest of Sunday looks like it will be a dry day and probably dry into Monday as well. So we're not talking about any problems with precipitation after we get through about Sunday morning. How about how much snow, though? I don't think there's a lot, but I think they'll get, we'll get at least a little bit. Here's the latest model runs on snowfall across the area. And again, this is going to be late tomorrow night into Sunday morning. Uh, down south, maybe looking at a half of an inch, give or take. But from I-70 north, there may be an inch or a little bit more. We're even showing maybe a couple of inches in places. So again, probably a little bit when you get up Sunday morning of some snow out there, but it does not look like anything major. The wind right now changing around to the southwest as that main little pressure moves away. By tomorrow night, the next low pressure moves up across the area. We'll see our winds briefly change to the south before going back over to the west as we head into Sunday afternoon. So beyond that time period, we look to be pretty dry for Monday, Tuesday, and most of Wednesday. The next chance of precip comes in here once we get into about late Wednesday, early Thursday. This system looks to kind of linger around for a while. Could be a rain-snow mix as we get into Thursday and Friday. We'll have to keep an eye on that one right now. I don't think it's a major system, but it lingers, so it may be here for a couple of days. Temperature-wise, you can see the colder air has moved in behind the system. Now, this isn't bitter cold, but colder. As we head for the weekend, kind of the same thing. Even next week, we're not looking at anything really mild overall. The blue shadings indicate somewhat cool weather, so, you know, about like it should be, maybe slightly above normal for this time of the year. So for tonight, then, rain pretty much has tapered off. There may be a little drizzle left over, some snow flurries, otherwise cloudy skies. Temperatures won't drop a whole lot more, down to 32. During the day tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Now, nighttime winter mix changes to some light snow, 36, so kind of a chilly day tomorrow. And then after that, temperatures are going to stay cool as we head into the day coming up on Sunday with a high of 35, low 40s early next week, and another chance of a winter mix by later next week. That's your forecast. Now we're going to head to Omar. Hey, Jesse.